I just... I just got to know that because she is pregnant today. I, I had this doubt, like I don't know why my instinct kept saying since today I picked her, she was in heat and I was just hoping that like before I picked her, I don't think, I hope she did not like meet or anything and I periodically was like, you know, trying to make sure that if she is or not and in the last three four days i was so sure because of her belly of how, how her nipples were her appetite and everything and today i took her to the vet and um, it's confirmed that she is pregnant so let's start i just Bonk. I just feel very overwhelmed. I don't know why. It's just a... It's a very weird feeling to have. It's also already like... She only is not better yet. And she has to go through like... Labor and all while she already does not have one fully functioning leg. She just got her surgery done. And to imagine that she got a surgery while she was pregnant because nobody knew that she was. I don't know. It's just a lot for her. But the doctor did say that she can deliver if she's like, you know, fed well and she can be taken care of. So that is fine. But I don't know. It's just an overwhelming feeling that it's a huge responsibility, right? So... Although I am going to do it, I will do it. It can be a lot and uh, I'm already in such a, uh, been in such a weird emotional space so lately and then Kushi came into my life and then I was trying to help her get back which was already a lot to like take care of. I'm just one person and it can be just emotionally very overwhelming because of course now if the puppies come it's like a whole you know, a 30 to 60 day process because until they are bigger, I cannot get them adopted. And for me to take care of so many, and mainly it's like I can do all that if I don't have like a job, but I do have this full time job and I have to get to work. And I've already been off since so long. I just feel I'm a little <laughs> overwhelmed, although I'm super excited for her. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> we are expecting at least five to six puppies um, and so if anybody wants to adopt you can definitely do that because she's a sweetheart she has been the most gentle soul of a dog like i can ever see i know i will eventually do it i'll get through it and probably feel like stronger but it's just the fact that it just came out of nowhere, you know, it's, it's, I am crying literally, like, if, if anybody sees, they'll think I am pregnant or something, I'm crying like that, but, uh, I don't know, it's just, a lot is there on my plate already, I feel, and, uh, this just is another responsibility added to it, again, I don't know why I'm here, I will eventually probably know, I got to know in the morning, it just took, like, it's almost night now, and I just tr was trying to process it and I think it just all came out. I've just been reading a lot about um, labor, like it's called whelping for dogs. Now that's something again, new knowledge. I, I thought I knew enough about dogs or not like, not like enough, but I thought I know a decent amount about dogs. And this now will teach me so much more. Oh my God. Let's see how everything goes. I just hope she's all okay during the whole process of labor and everything and the baby full blown pregnant baby kush in the way that face oi 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 you have babies and coming kunna you have babies coming you have babies coming so like you know that kushi is pregnant she's about to deliver like in 
I am thinking one or two days. She's already showing symptoms of neighbor. Uh, but so I thought I'll show, do a little uh, maternity shoot kind of thing for her. So I bought a little tiara. I don't have a dress for her, but this is something I'm thinking I'll put on her and do a shoot. So let's see how it goes. I'll put this backdrop and then make her sit and see. Hopefully she sits and then I can take a few pictures. Let's go. A few inches later. Hi, you guys. So it is three days, four days that uh, since I've been anticipating that um, the puppies are going to be here. Um, her temperature dropped like two days ago, but she is in no sign of labor. Otherwise, she has a, she has vomiting. So her temperature dropped, um, but she's eating and she has not delivered anything. She does not have any contractions. She's not restless or anything. So I'm a little worried because it's been a while that her temperature had dropped according to whatever research that I have done, and. Uh, uh it is supposed to have happened already and she's 66 days pregnant ideally dogs go into labor like on 62 to 64 days like in that between or something but uh, it's i i expected yesterday because 65 days is kind of uh, like you know that period but at 66 um so i'm a little worried i have been monitoring her a lot um, I just contacted the vet as well and uh, he said he'll get back to me in some time. So um, I'm a little worried. Hopefully everything goes well. If like if by evening it doesn't happen, then I'll probably take her to the vet. Day five since expecting her babies and they are still not here. I spoke to the vet yesterday um, because I was very worried and um, he said... Um, it's okay let it be uh, he asked me to get her to a scan today or tomorrow so i probably will take her tomorrow if there's still no babies um but i am just like it's it's something i've never done i don't know what is so i was worried but like i probably will take her tomorrow and go tomorrow Okay, I just am getting back from taking this girl uh, for her another ultrasound and uh, get back because she still has not popped any babies. Um, and according to the last vet visit which I had, an ultrasound which we had, that time I got it ultrasound done generally because I actually had to know like if she is even pregnant or not because I don't know she's like a stray right, I don't know if she had mated or not and I had like a lot of signs. So today, um, so last time when I went he said it's he, she's 45 days pregnant okay, plus or uh, minus 2-3 days here and there. Um, so according to that uh, I was very worried like I told before also like according According to that she is like 69th or 68th day now and um, 68 so I spoke to another doctor as well and I told her that you know she's 68 days and she's not delivered is that okay and all and she said no no it's very late you take her to the hospital Vagera. and then I panicked randomly so today I thought I'll do like nice like that gosh you know the girl routine with like my hair like shaving hair wash everything um, so that's why this uh, very beautiful hairstyle with all the grease in my hair so I rushed to the hospital and 
I got again another ultrasound done to see like if everything is okay or if there's any delay. But um, luckily, touch wood. Oh my God, touch wood. Everything is normal. And um, something that in the calculation was not uh, very apt, and they said it's all very approximate, anyways. So she has one more week to go before she pops babies out. So honestly, like these things, they do cost so much. I don't know why. Um, I feel like. Um, uh i am max adulting like hospitals i feel like even not just for like um humans but for for dogs also they're so damn expensive i just realized um so i was like i spent uh, now what it was like 2000 or something for the ultrasound like last time also this time also and then i was like i literally got it done for my peace of mind because i have been so worried that she's not like you know um been able to like deliver and literally since one week i like stopped all my works and everything and i've just been at home with her sitting like monitoring her so i was like i also need some peace of mind need to know when the timeline is for her to deliver baby so we know one more week is there so i will see you in like a few days when i feel like she is going to pop babies eventually you guys i just woke up in the middle of the night because i heard baby crying I'm just thinking more five days, but this I don't know. This female is so strong. She's doing everything. What are you, baby? How are you taking that pain? She's just doing it. She already has three babies. Oh God. She did it by herself. I feel so terrible to be sleeping when she was going through this. I literally woke up with baby's cry. She was not eating today. I should have known. She literally was not eating the entire day. And oh my god! She did not wake me up. She did not do anything, and she made three babies already. Six babies so far. My puto with his six babies. The sixth one is right here. I really want to see if any of them have her brown eyes. Look at her eyes; they're so beautiful. But yeah, I just cannot. And uh, as much as the process of them growing up, becoming naughty, and the chaos incoming is <laughs> overwhelming, I just cannot wait them for actually to like grow up, start walking. I mean, the puppy energy is just so cute. I feel like it's so healing. Um, once they walk, the way they fumble, uh, tumble, fumble. What is, I don't know English really at this point, but um, yeah, like they are so cute when they walk, when they're figuring out new things. um and by the way i'm vlogging in my new phone for the first time this is the first clip that i took and the clarity is bomb like and uh, i just put her bed beside my bed and honestly i've not been able to sleep in the night so in the between i'm going to the guest room and sleeping because they are calling still like koi 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 <laughs> you know for food for warmth or something and she literally not even been getting up like literally she have to physically carry her to go pee and poop also because she's just not leaving the baby's food also i'm giving her in the bed like i'm putting her near the maha mouth like what about food ball and then only uh, she's eating but she's eating really well and she was like so big man once the babies are out again she became so small and um, Yeah, I feel like all the food I gave till now only went for the babies and not for her because she's still very under new like malnutrition. When I got her also, she was very like that. But yeah, the six cutesy babies. Actually, for the past three days, just been sitting here. and watching them is just so fun okay i finally saw the gender of my babies these no where was these four 
these four are females that one and this one is a boy so we have four females and two boys two males <laughs> So look at them. Because she's little panicking because she's only used to having them in this bed. But I had to create this section here because they are getting big and they are all not fitting in this bed. But they are a little panicky searching for their mother because they're not used to this area. But look at how big they are. Osh Nana! Osh! Osh! Puppy! Hi puppies! <gasps> you opened your Oish, 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 mama, oish, 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 oish,
I cannot explain like seeing them being born, getting like big. They were this this small dude when they they were born, and now they're like already this big in like just three weeks. Uh, but yeah, all of them are doing healthy. So she has two males and four females, you guys. If you want to adopt any dog, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram account is right here. We just want somebody who can take care of a pup really well. And and really like adoption is like the best option. A breeding business, you see how brutally the dogs are uh, literally raped uh, to get pregnant, and then again they're not even fed properly. So I don't really support breeding unless like you know you know somebody who does ethical breeding. Reading, but adoption is like the best. Kushi is such a sweet dog. She's the most gentle, calm dog I ever know, and I'm I'm sure like the pups will get her traits as well. So if you want to adopt any of the pup, then let me know. Uh, please DM me now. Of course, you cannot. I will not give them away right now. There are a couple of weeks left for me to give away the pups. uh because they have to stay with the mother for like you know at least a few weeks more so but you can choose if you want one or you can ask me for pictures if you want one i can send you and they have to unfortunately you have to be only from hyderabad because i cannot send the pups to be too far they're too young for it as well so if you are from hyderabad and if you want to adopt a pet then definitely dm me these are the cutest little uh, babies they are well fed because literally i'm giving kushi Five meals a day, okay. And literally, I wanted to. This is one more thing I would request that if you ever see a lactating mother, like after seeing Kushi, like the amount of water she's drinking, the amount of food she's eating, I don't know how dogs on the street manage. Like it is always comes down to females. Like the males just go mate and go, and then the aftermath is all all female. They have to find a place to like you know do the. a uh, delivery then take care of the pups feed the pups when they themselves have no food so any time you see a lactating mother please 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 always give them food because i no matter how much food i'm giving her it's not being enough imagine that much milk they drink but these ones are really healthy i've been feeding her very well always try to feed a lactating mother especially because i think they need the most amount of nutrients and food but yeah that's it for this vlog thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.